there's an adrenaline rush when we talk about the highest paying finance jobs in the world. Why is that? Maybe because finance is primordial, being as old as civilization itself. Or perhaps it's because our mind makes a subconscious connection with eccentric mathematical geniuses and charming stock market crooks when it thinks of finance. Think Jordan Belfort from The Wolf of Wall Street. Think Michael Burry from The Big Short. No matter how you think of it, finance has an aura of inscrutability to it. Little wonder then that finance attracts the best and the brightest at all the top B schools. At Stanford's Graduate School of Business or GSB, finance remains by far the most sought after concentration with over a third of the class specializing in it. MBAs in finance have also traditionally commanded the highest salaries. In the US for instance, the highest reported salary for the graduating class of last year among all B schools was $375,000, backed by a Wharton graduate who specialized in finance. But what exactly does a finance professional do to be paid so much? In this video, we list the five highest paying finance jobs worldwide and what makes them so special. Make sure you watch till the end because the last entry on the list is going to surprise you. Hedge fund managers are the pop stars of the finance world. Everyone has heard of at least one famous hedge fund manager. Michael Burry of the Big Short fame became a household name after the movie. George Soros will also be known to history as the man who broke the Bank of England. David Tepper lends his name to the Carnegie Mellon's B School. Ray Dalio is like Richard Branson and Elon Musk rolled into one and put in charge of a hedge fund. So what do hedge fund managers do that makes them so famous? They manage hedge funds, of course. A hedge fund is a fund into which a large number of investors pool their money and hire a skill manager to invest it for them in return for a fee. But there's a caveat. Almost all hedge funds deal exclusively with ultra high net worth individuals. The bigger hedge funds typically manage assets running into billions of dollars, which is why they only hire the best and the brightest from the most reputed universities around the world. Compensation for hedge fund managers varies. But there's a widely accepted industry-wide norm of 2 and 20, a 2% commission on the sum total of the assets they manage, and 20% of all profits in a given year. How much of this is pocketed by the manager depends on the size of the hedge fund. Hedge funds come in all shapes and sizes, and there are thousands of hedge funds in the world today, with collective assets under management of over $4.53 trillion. But most hedge funds are small, typically managing anything between $10 to $100 million under assets. Like in most fields, hedge fund manager salary has a pyramidal structure. Those at the very top make astronomical amounts. In recent years, the top 25 hedge fund managers took home over $32 billion in compensation. The average salary for hedge fund managers is a more modest $145,000 per year. But given the commission-based pay structure of most hedge funds, there's no upper limit to how much hedge fund managers can make. And that's what puts them on the top of our list of the highest paying finance jobs in the world. If hedge fund managers are the pop stars of the finance world, investment bankers are its urban legends. Mythical beings pulling the strings of the global economy from the ivory towers of the world's financial nerve centers. The foundations of what we think as modern finance were laid down by pioneering investment bankers such as JP Morgan, Marcus Goldman, Samuel Sachs, to name a few. Each of them has given his name to institutions that control the flow of global capital, which is why investment banking jobs are so lucrative. Most MBAs join investment banks as analysts or associates, depending on their experience level. Last year, the median salary of an MBA fresh out of a top American B school and joining an investment bank was $200,000. In general, most graduates of good B schools can expect to take home around $142,000 for entry-level jobs at top investment banks. Private equity firms are like a more sophisticated version of hedge funds where hedge funds merely pool money from several investors and invest them into asset classes. Private equity firms actually help in operating the businesses they invest in, which means to succeed in private equity requires not just investment acumen, but also business acumen. Because of this highly specialized skill set, private equity firms are very selective about who they hire. And once they find the right hire, they are known to break the bank to bring them on board. P firms are also notoriously elite, known for their tendency to form an exclusive club among themselves. It is for this reason that top PE firms hire exclusively from only the best B schools in the world. 
nearly 15% of the graduating class at Stanford's MBA program went into PE. So how much do fresh MBA grads make in private equity? According to a recent report by Fortune, the median base salary for a Stanford MBA grad taking up a role in private equity firms was $175,000. This was, to repeat, just the base salary. Employees receive joining bonuses and other perks equal to $154,000 on average, taking the total median annual compensation to $329,000. Not too shabby. Venture capital is a subfield within the larger practice of private equity. The difference between the two lies in where each prefers to invest. While PE firms look for stable businesses to invest in, VCs look for startups to seed, incubate, grow, and exit. Because of the similarities in the fundamental skill set required, VCs and PEs hire from similar schools. At Stanford, for instance, a VC job is the second most sought after profile after PE, with 15% of the graduating class joining one VC firm or the other. Expectedly, salaries at top VC firms come close to matching those at PE firms. For instance, the gross average pay offered by VC firms to Stanford GSB's previous class was $224,000. The only caveat with VC jobs is that you will not find too many of them around. The churn rate at VC firms is low compared to high-stress, high-profile finance roles, such as those at investment banks and hedge funds. Those who land the few VC jobs on offer tend to stick on to them for a long time because of the great work-life balance they offer. After all, even in the world of finance, money isn't everything. Last but not the least paying finance job is that of a finance professor. Surprised? We don't blame you. Most people likely think that the only time professors laugh their way to the bank is when they are robbing one, like the geeky professor in Money Heist. After all, the popular stereotype of a professor is of a nerdish bookworm with thick glasses, teaching the capital asset pricing model to a room full of half-interested, half-bored students. And while that may or may not be an accurate picture, it certainly does not seem to apply to finance professors at the top colleges around the world. According to a report, finance professors at leading B schools take home on an average half a million dollars a year in salaries. And this does not include the compensation they get from the consulting roles for the industry, which they are not only entitled, but even encouraged to undertake. And when you put a little thought to it, it does make sense. After all, these are people who have dedicated years of their lives to studying the minutest intricacies of finance. With their in-depth knowledge of finance, they could have got fantastic corporate jobs with high salaries as well. Instead, they chose to stay back and give back to the institutions they learned from. If the best business schools need to groom the best minds in finance, they need to make sure their students learn from the best minds. And to retain the best, they need to make it worth their while. To sum up then, if money makes the world go round, finance is the art of throwing just the right amounts of it at the world to watch it spin without losing balance. No wonder then that some of the highest paying roles that MBAs land straight out of business school are in finance. And with a wide bouquet of profiles ranging from investment banking to academia, finance is a tent large enough to accommodate the mathematicians, the magicians, the mavericks and everyone else in between. Check out the resources in the description where we cover each of these careers in more detail. MBA Crystal Ball has helped many applicants get into the best MBA programs in finance. After graduation, these MBA grads now work in the highest paying finance jobs across the world, including USA, Canada, UK, India, and many other countries. If you're planning to apply to business schools, drop us an email. Good luck.